Hello ladies and gentle nerds, my name is Deloop and welcome to Factorio Season 2 Megabase. Uh, Megabase Season 2 that is. This is episode... Uh... 20. This is episode 20. Wow, we're already on episode 20. So, I uh, went ahead and finished off the Iron Outpost and look at that beauty. It looks like a freaking tree. It's great. Alright, so that's gonna that's working nicely for us. Uh, I just need to add some power to this end and uh, get a train up here. Uh, this episode we're going to be expanding our oil build somewhat. And uh, I also wanted to mention, I'm getting to the point where I'm going to be doing a lot of stuff off camera. And like oil, or uh, outpost maintenance, stuff like that. Just random junk, right? And I really... Where am I going? Ah, uh, you know what? Just go to the Farl Depot. Drive for me. No more driving me. Nope, nope. Nope. Come on. Farl Depot. Go. Okay, so uh, if you guys haven't done so already, check out the link in the description for Twitch. I will be streaming most of my YouTube prep on there. I will be streaming three times a week for two hours each time. So, and uh, bonus streams other than that, so you have to just kind of follow to see when they are. Um, but I can load up this map and start me doing random, you know, maintenance stuff. Stuff that's not too interesting to put on camera. And uh, I'll be splitting the time between Twitch and the YouTube series. So I'll put interesting stuff on the videos. And then live stream all the non-interesting stuff. Uh, now Twitch keeps the live streams for two weeks. So that gives you guys plenty of time to catch up. And like I said, it's not going to be that interesting of stuff. It's, it's going to be really, really basic stuff. Uh, so you are going to go to the Iron Depot, or Iron North, no sorry, Iron South 1. And you're going to wait there for 30 seconds, you're going to wait here for 30 seconds, just go, 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 go. Okay. So that'll be on its way. Let's uh, let's go ahead and get insert our item stack size bonus 2. Wow, that's a long, long research name. And I want, I want to get some stuff here. I want to get some oil refineries, and for that, I need some stone. Alright. I need uh, stone bricks, which I got a box of them up here. Already made. Uh, I'm going to add a build for stone bricks sometime, and concrete would be fun. But we're going to need a copper outpost relatively soon, too. Right now, our copper is doing well, and stone is, is kind of getting on the side where it's not... Um, look, our coal is officially out, which means I can tidy this area up a bit. Once these outposts are gone, I can put stuff in this area, which will be nice. Uh, let's just bring it in like so. Come on. Wrong way. Come on. There. <laughs> Zoom in, it might help. There. There's my stone chest, which I don't have enough inventory space to hold everything. Ah, oh, that's a shame. Well, um, I can't even craft... No, can I craft? I need like maybe three more of these. One, two, and three. Perfect. Those will take some time. Let's uh, run by my junk chest on the way back. And that'll eventually turn into an active provider. And then my robots will take care of it all. Um, once I get robots. I'm so lonely. <laughs> I need robots. That's one thing I'm missing is, is my robots. I'm going to concrete this whole area later on. It's going to be concreted like this whole thing. All the way up to the train line. Concrete. Oh, it's going to be beautiful. And then I'm going to hop on the uh, the concrete bandwagon and concrete my railway. Because I was watching uh, Colonel Will's stream and he was concreting. And I'm like, why are you concreting your railway? And he showed me and oh my goodness, it looks beautiful that way. It, it looks amazing when you concrete it all like that. So all that stuff can go away. Get out of my inventory, you. Okay, so we got this ready to go. Now, I should have some chemical plants. I got six of them. And that hopefully that'll be enough. Now, I got advanced oil processing, and I've already run water into these. I, run, I ran water in when I started. And as you can see, my, my tanks are full. So I need to start cracking stuff. And uh, these are going to change into advanced oil processing. I am. So these produce some a little bit differently. Uh, it produces one, four, and five each. So 
I'm getting 4.5 oil per five every five seconds. So let's just say one oil per one light oil per second. And this will crack two petroleum, or it'll crack three light oil every five seconds. So that's let's just build it even evenly, six to six. That sounds good. And and might as well overkill it than underkill it and end up not not producing anything. Like I have so many so many oil barrels here. My oil is doing really well, really well. So I need some pipes. Uh, I didn't bring those. And these can be pretty much. T this can be turned on. I don't know why I haven't done that yet. That'll start cracking the heavy oil down really quickly for us. Uh, and then. <clears throat> I'm thinking, like, let me get two more chemical plants for heavy oil. Um, pipe. That's what I came up here for. Let's uh, let's come over to this chest and throw in these stone bricks. I don't need them anymore. Let's grab all the pipe. Why not? Why not? I say. Why not? Need to organize my inventory. There is a, I'm doing my little batch here of recording for the week, and uh, what happens is by the end of it, my inventory's a mess because uh, I don't do the inventory management off on camera, and uh, just ton of stuff needs to be done that's just random crap. So this can all come out here, and these are the advanced processing as well. So we just need to hook in some water. Oh, beautiful. So beautiful. Okay. And then I just hook in the heavy oil. And the light oil. Oops. and then the petroleum. I don't know why I started running off in the distance. It wouldn't stop running. Oh man, I'm, I really messed this one up, didn't I? Oh no. Oh no. Oh Jesus. Did I fix it? I think I fixed it. Not quite. This is what happens when you mix your pipes, ladies and gentlemen. Don't do it. You're going to have a bad day. Oh, there's still heavy oil, or light oil, just hanging out in all of the pipes. Yeah, you have to, like, break all the pipes just to get rid of all that light oil. So just make sure to place your pipes properly. All right, there we go. There we have it. Uh, power it up. Make sure all these have power. And yeah, that's good. Uh, now we need to. So this is cracking into lubricant. And that'll bring the the heavy oil numbers down nicely. <clears throat> to go ahead and design ourselves a. No oh, shit. Oh crap. You get two storage tanks. Uh, I flunked up. I, I put all this in barrels and didn't... Now I need to get it out of the barrels. So I'm just going to place this here. I don't even care about the oil that's in it. And I'm going to place this one here. Here. Yeah, sounds better. Then I can just place the assembly machines. Here. This is going to unbarrel the heavy oil. And let's grab myself a steel chest. There. And there. Power it up. Bring these over to here. Plug that in. Okay. So that'll work. And then uh, we'll get another assembly machine to unbarrel the light oil into the tank. 
and I grab myself an inserter here. <clears throat> Let's put this here with a chest. Give it power. All right, and that'll unbarrel all those barrels for me. So now I just need to add the the light oil cracking down into the heavy oil. So what I'm thinking is I can have two rows like this. Now let me see. Okay, so heavy to light or heavy to petroleum, and then we just have the petroleum coming out out that way, and that'll work. So we would just do this. Give it power. Run a pipe down the center. Going out here. And I can just pipe it in. I am. <clears throat> Petroleum away. Uh, water. Where am I going to grab water from? These pipes are getting to be a bit of a mess. And I need lights all over here. Lights. Just randomly spam them everywhere. This whole area is a freaking disaster zone. I got pipes everywhere. Got belts everywhere. Got tanks left and right. It just is a mess. Okay. So, water. The nearest water that I have is this stuff. So, maybe I'll bring it up into it. Or even bring it this way. <clears throat> you know what? Let's just make another pump. Uh, production pump. Yeah, let's just... We'll make another pump for this. We'll just do this. Ah, I'm not sure how I'm going to do that one. Let's figure it out. So this will come in. Oh, this is not going to work. Uh. Uh. How do I want to do this? Let's uh let's move this up a little bit. It's going to take up a little bit more space, but it's just going to be easier to manage if I just do this. Which means more petroleum pipe. Yeah, this will be a lot easier to manage here. Because uh, then I can u actually use the underground pipe. Like so. Then this will come out, go to here, this will come out. You know what, let's just change this up. <clears throat> you know what, this will just go like that. Plug that in. Uh, and this guy will come down. Plug that in. And then these can all branch out by two. And I just run the light oil in. I'm going to unbuild this. Oh shit. Empty barrels all over the place. Let's go throw those somewhere. Yo, chest, I heard you like barrels. Here, have some. That'll be used in the oil network now. Cannot wait till I have bots to manage my barrels for me. Because I end up with a lot of them floating around. Okay. Uh, so, we can pipe these in pretty easily. Uh, let me just bring this up to here. And this will go out to here. Bring all these out. There's probably a much better way to do this setup. Yeah, this isn't blueprintable, <laughs> by the way. It would be if I did it the other way, but eventually I'll cross that bridge when I need to. Technically I should change it now so I can blueprint it. Yeah, it's not gonna be that hard to change. It's gonna be harder to change later than it would be to just do it real quick. So that's good. So instead I'll just bring the, this out. 
Let's say just there. And this out here. That there, there. Then we'll do the same thing here. Out to here. Here. Oops. One too far. Okie dokie then. That should be about it. We just need to pipe in the uh, the light oil, which is easy enough. Uh, I can just do something like this and bring this in. I am. Oh shit! I, I I done fucked up. No. You guys see what I've done? I've really messed up. Oh goodness. Oh goodness. Mixing pipes. Really bad. Oh, autosave. Oh, crap. I gotta re redo this whole thing now. Bam, bam, bam. I guess it's not that, that difficult. Be carefuler. More careful. I'll bring this out to just here ish. No chance of mixing pipes. So what happens when you want to build stuff compact is sometimes that happens. So now we just need to get uh, water in here, which is relatively easy so, uh, because I could just do this and use an underground belt or pipe all the way out to some water. Where do I want this? All the way out here to a nice, nice spot to put a pump. Because this will fit nicely right there. Bring it out. And water. Water away. Which means cracking away. <clears throat> they should be cracking now, right? Oh, look at that. Light to petroleum gas. Which means that my oil refineries will now run full time. Because heavy oil is being used up by lubricant for at least a little while. So now I need to build this same thing for heavy oil. Now that I've done it once... I've learned my lesson on a couple of things, which is good. So this is going to be heavy oil. Now it takes four heavy oil, and it takes five seconds. So it basically produces, it steals one heavy oil every five seconds. And one of these does one heavy oil five seconds. Ooh. One heavy oil a second, or sorry, one heavy oil every five seconds. And this will use one heavy oil per second so basically you need one of these for every five of these so two will two will cover me I think if it, if not I'll add more so these are my light oil and I want this cracking in just run straight in there good good okay uh, and then pipe all of the things so we'll just do something like this to here and we'll plug it in here oh wait hold the phone need to bring this out water and then heavy oil needs to come in same kind of deal as before Oh goodness. That looks horrid, but it'll work. There we have it. And then uh, plug it in and call it done. I just used tiny poles, but that's alright. So now this is cracking heavy to light, which is good, which means my ratios are off for this here. Oh shit, look at our power. Oh man, power upgrade is incoming. Need another another 20, so I think I'll add another like 20. No, as you can see, I'm I'm producing, I'm consuming. Jesus. I need to double this which I've got 
four, sorry, 10, 20, 40, 10, 20, 30, 40. I need 80 more, no, 40 more of those. Which, that's going to be a lot of, lot of stuff. Which will have to happen another day because, um, it's about time to wrap up this episode. My name has been Deloop, guys. Thanks for watching. Um, I'm having power issues. I'm going to go ahead and uh, do that kind of stuff off camera. i got to end up the, my recording day today. Make sure to follow on um, make sure to follow on Twitch to see all the, the prep videos. Uh-oh, i got a comment. <laughs> Somebody said, go ahead, chew on my body. <laughs> Alright, so I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.